Yo, what's up, dude? So a uh, little news just came over the wire yesterday uh, from a number of outlets that Guitar Center just missed a $45 million interest payment and that uh, bankruptcy was most likely going to happen within 30 days. Once they miss that payment, it starts the 30-day clock. And at the end of that, if they haven't made the payment, and it doesn't look like they're able to make the payment, then um, they're in default, and they can move in and foreclose. So what you would most likely do, and what most experts are claiming they will do, is uh, file a Chapter 11 reorganization bankruptcy that would halt the interest, it would halt the payments, it would halt anything going on with any litigation, and it would allow them to basically sort through all the debt, dump unsecured debt, work out a plan for secured debt, renegotiate leases, do all kinds of things through the bankruptcy um, laws uh, to get them so they can reemerge. Almost everyone seems to think that they're going to reemerge, that there's no way that they're going to be liquidated, that uh, they most closely resemble like Neiman Marcus, and that um, it, Neiman Marcus has already gone through their bankruptcy and already emerged. J.C. Penney, another one, they go through a bankruptcy, and then you emerge on the other side of it. So uh, there's really not a lot of talk about them actually being liquidated and going out of business. It's really more like a reorganization, and business will continue and the stores won't close. What most likely happened is that they, they've actually had stellar sales. Uh, according to their balance sheet, they had like, I want to say it was like $2.5 in sales, something like that. It was in the twos, $2 billion plus sales, and they owe about $1.7 billion in debt. But, you know, that's a... It sounds like a lot of debt, but not if you're doing two and a half billion dollars in sales a year. Then actually, that debt isn't really all that crazy. So, um, I think what happened is is that they had the pandemic hit, and then they just didn't have the sales that they needed to carry them through. And now that they're in October and things are opening back up again, and Christmas is here, it's just too little, too late, and they just couldn't do it in the uh, in the time before the before the payment was due. So um, expect to see, I think, you never know, they could do like they did last time and do a credit swap. They could find some angel funding to sort of turn this around. Who knows what's going to happen? But I suspect they're going to file a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. They're going to get reorganized, and then they're going to emerge on the other side of it, and the stores won't close. That's my guess, and that seems to be what most experts are um, suggesting is, is going to happen. That's the most of the predictions are It'll be a chapter 11 and they'll emerge on the other side. So we'll see. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. But as far as I know, um, they missed a, an interest payment and they're probably going to file bankruptcy. What it means for you, probably nothing. I see everything seems to suggest that there, it'll just be business as usual. And they're just basically cleaning up their balance sheet through the bankruptcy. We'll see. All right, if I hear any more, I'll let you know. Until then, rock on.